Hey guys, my name's Carl Golden and welcome to Golden Studios. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I've got my Enya acoustic guitar. This has no electronics in it at all. It's just a very cool sounding acoustic I really like. So it's got no preamp in the top to pick up the uh, sound of the guitar. So we're going to change that. We're going to make my acoustic guitar an electro acoustic guitar. So my good friend Namuai, who sent me a couple of uh, his ukuleles a few years ago, you probably seen me play these in a few videos. He works with Bellcat, who make preamps for ukuleles and acoustics, amongst other stuff. So he's now working with Bellcat, and he sent me this cool thing, which is a UFO7 wireless preamp system. So the idea of this is you connect a device to the bottom of your guitar here, you stick it here, and it picks up the vibrations of your guitar and sends it to a transmitter that then goes into your interface or let's say your PA system. I just want you guys to know I'm not being paid to make this video. I'm good friends with Namwai and I wanted to help him out. So with the Bellcat UFO 7 wireless system, let's open it up and see what you get inside. So you get your instructions and you get your transmitter and your receiver. So let me put this down. With your transmitter, which you can see here, that would then, it's got, actually let me show you the back. So it's got some sticky stuff on there. You take that off and you stick it on your acoustic guitar there and that will pick up the vibrations of your guitar and it would send the signal to your receiver, which is this, I think it's focusing. And as you can see, it's got your standard kind of jack lead connection. So you could connect this to your interface or your PA system. The wireless system should last for around six hours. And if it runs out, it takes about another two hours to recharge again using a micro USB charger, I believe. You've got four different channels on the transmitter. So I assume that you can change it to different ones if you're running four different guitars or whatever so the signal doesn't interrupt another one. You've also got a phase button which can help with feedback, on and off button and USB charge line in. I'm not sure that's for, but I'll put more of the details in the description. So supposedly there is no loss in sound quality, no delay during transmission, but we will find out soon enough when I try it out. No need for any more guitar cables, which is very cool. So what I'm going to do in conjunction with this UFO7 Bellcat preamp system, I'm going to install on the acoustic. I'm also going to use this, which is another wireless transmitter and receiver. And the reason I want this is I'm also going to be using my Align reverb pedal in conjunction so we can get some nice reverb. This is an acoustic pedal made specially just for acoustic, not electric guitar. You may have seen my demo of this in some other videos. And it looks like this. Ah, dropping my guitar. Before I install this UFO 7 wireless system preamp thing, let's have a little look what you get with this wireless transmitter and receiver. So here's the box. Once again, it says with this, no loss in sound quality and no delay during transmission. From now on, no need for guitar cables. So that's pretty cool. So let's have a look what's in the box. You get a little instruction manual in that thing there, it's pretty cool. So inside the box, you basically got your receiver and your transmitter. One would plug into your guitar, one would plug into the amp, or one would plug into a computer, one would plug into the guitar. You get the idea. So your transmitter would go into your guitar. It's got your jack there and then it would send the signal from your guitar to the receiver, which would go into the amp. It actually has a little picture of an amplifier on it, which is quite cool. And the transmitter has a little picture of a guitar. Don't know if you can see that. Okay, so let's go back to the UFO 7 wireless transmitter and receiver preamp thingy majiggy. So you've got your transmitter here, which is like your preamp. This can go on an acoustic guitar, or you could put it on your ukulele if you wanted to, you'd shove it there on your ukulele. 
and it would pick up the vibrations from the ukulele. But as I said today, we're gonna to be putting it on my Enya acoustic guitar. We're gonna take off the sticky bit at the back here. I don't know if you can see this. So you take off the sticky bit and then quite literally behind the bridge of your acoustic, we're gonna stick it in the middle. There. There we go. So you can see it's stuck on my guitar. It's never coming off. <laughs> it won't fall off. Shaky, shaky. That's how easy this preamp is to install. You see all these other kind of pickups. You have to cut apart your guitar, drill holes. That's it. That's all you need to do. Let's say you want to take this off and the sticky bits got damaged. They actually give you another sticky bit to use if you want to put it on another instrument. There's only two in there though, so pick wisely. So with the receiver, what I'm gonna do is, because I'm using this pedal, I've actually put a battery in the back of this so I don't need any wires, so everything is wireless. We're gonna plug this into the input of my reverb pedal. We're gonna be plugging in the transmitter, the T3, in the output of my LR bags. Check that out, it looks like an alien thing. The future is wireless. So I'll leave that behind me here. Um, and then finally, I've got the receiver, which I'm gonna be plugging into my uh, Focusrite Clara 8 Pre interface. So I'm literally gonna shove that in there, channel two. And then when I turn all this on, I should be able to pick it up in Logic Pro X which is the door that I'm using to record. I'll get that set up and I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, so change your plan. We're only gonna use one set of transmitters because it does seem to interfere when they are too close together. But hey, you don't know until you try it. So instead of my transmitters, I've just put an Ernie Paul cable into the output of my reverb pedal into my audio interface. Right, back to the demo. Here's what it sounds like without any reverb. So I can't really hear what you're hearing, but I'm looking forward to hearing how it sounds. There's a lot of hearing in that sentence. Right, let's add the reverb and see what it sounds like. It's not so great with strumming, I've noticed, but I may have put it a bit too close to the bridge. Maybe it needs to go a bit further back here and mess around with the tone and pickups. For finger picking pieces, it sounds awesome.
Yeah, I wonder if it's quite bassy because of where I have placed the pickup, but you can mess around with that. It's a really cool piece of equipment. I assume that it reacts differently with the type of guitar you have as well. And of course, like I said before, you could shove it on your ukulele if you didn't have a pickup system in there. Um, but yeah, if you're looking to make your acoustic guitar electric so you can plug it in and play it live or just plug it into record, this is a great option. It's wireless. Yeah, it's worth checking out. I hope you guys enjoyed this little demo. I'll put some links in the description below so you can check out more of the specs and how to actually properly operate the system. No doubt I'm doing something wrong. Big thanks to these guys, my patrons. They support me for five or seven dollars a month. And in return, they get their lovely names posted after all my videos. Not only that, they also get access to my backing tracks and tabs from my previous videos, my future videos, all that good stuff. There's gotta be a few hundred on there now. Um, I really appreciate the support. It really helps the channel. If you don't have a few bucks to spare, don't worry. All you need to do to support me is share these videos, uh, give a like, leave a comment, share it with your friends, your family, all that good stuff. Um, that's it from me today, guys. I'll see you again for another video very soon. Take care. Quack.